Hey Taurus and welcome to your reading for today. This is going to be your energy reading, general reading. We're going to see what is going on with you at this time. What is it that you need to know about? Not every message is going to resonate for you and that's okay. If it's not yours, then check out another placement, okay? And this can be past, present, or future. So let's see here, Holy Angels. Holy Spirit, what is going on with Taurus? What's going on with Taurus here today? The Wheel of Fortune. Something is about to change. Something is about to change. Big change. Wheel of Fortune in the world. We have someone that is sad right now. Someone is grieving, someone is upset. Something could do with a home or something that happened in a home or with a home or about a property. And it's about a message, okay? So let's see here for Taurus. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? There's a big change that's coming in. Or somebody might know that their um, fate is about to change forever. You know, we have faith, you know, we have a destiny, right? Each one of us has a destiny, but it's up to each one of us with our free will choices to make it there, okay? Everybody has a destiny. Everybody can reach their greatest potential in this life, but they have to choose to do it. It's a free will choice. You cannot force your way to destiny without doing the work. You may get to your destiny when you go through the healing journey, okay? Life is a lot about learning your lessons. You have to learn the lessons that you came to this earth to learn if you wanna make it to your destiny. We all have free will choices. I feel like someone is standing in front of a decision right now. They know they know that their fate is about to change. Because your fate, it changes depending on the choices that you make, right? Um, something is up to someone right now. They've already made free will choices up until this point that have led them to their fate. But... You know, they're sad. I feel like someone is sad right now. Let's see about the Wheel of Fortune here. But we have to realize that your fate, your fate in this life is an accumulation of your own choices and your own decisions. Wherever you end up is because of the choices that you made. Okay, your fate depends on your free will choices, right? So we cannot blame other people for our fate. Someone is coming out of some sort of an illusion here, okay? Um, somebody could be going within right now about something. They could be thinking about something, going within about a gift. What's the Four of Wands? Nine of Wands in reverse. Somebody knows they're not going to be able to defend themselves. They're heartbroken at this time. Very depressed. Someone is depressed. Someone is heartbroken. Someone is depressed. Somebody feels like they have to give up. They don't have any strength left. Um, they cannot fight something. They can't defend themselves. They don't have any strength left. They're sad, depressed, heartbroken. Five of Cups. About some sort of action here. Fast action. Eight of Cups. They want to leave it behind. And a Page of Wands. Someone wants to leave something behind, okay? Someone with the Page of Wands, it, it could be a message, but it wasn't. what I'm also getting is that, look at this again at the bottom, Five of Cups. Someone here is very sad right now. 
very sad, very depressed and sad. I can feel it too. I can feel it. I felt it with the first three, uh, four cards that came out. Someone here with the Page of Wands, I feel like they just want a new life. They want a new life. They want to start over completely. They want a fresh start. They, I mean, the Page of Wands is about going out on a new adventure, right? Being adventurous, having that adventurous spirit, um, going to explore the world. Someone here wants a new life, a completely new life. They're very sad. Like, look at this, Eight of Cups and the Page of Wands. Someone wants a new life. They want to leave everything behind. They want to start over completely. Very depressed. Page of Wands, the Emperor. Death. The King of Cups. So I don't know if you're if, if you're a Taurus, you might be dealing with a Virgo, okay? Or you have Taurus Virgo in your chart, okay? This is honestly giving me a follow-up from the Virgo reading, okay? There's a King of Cups here who's about to go through a major transformation. Something is ending here. Honestly, I hate to put it this way, but with the Wheel of Fortune here at the very beginning and the very first kind of feeling that came over me with destiny and someone's fate, okay? This person is, there's gonna be an ending. This person now has a free will choice to choose how it's going to end. Okay. I hate to put it that way, but that's honestly what I feel. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune, please. Ten of Swords in Reverse. And the Tower. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords in Reverse, the Five of Wands. There's a lot of conflict going on right now. Five of Cups at the bottom again. Yeah, someone is grieving right now. Grieving. A lot of emotional distress. Conflict. Now, I'm just not sure with the Ten of Swords in Reverse, is this about a betrayal that you cannot come back from? Like an extremely painful ending? Or is this someone trying to avoid a painful ending? Four of Cups in reverse. This is about someone letting go of the past. Letting go of past resentment. Letting go of past grudges. Letting go of the past feelings of that stuck energy that mm, I feel dissatisfied. I feel re resentful and holding a grudge. This is letting go of a grudge, okay? There's a lot of fighting going on here, though. What's the Ten of Swords in reverse? Love. Fighting with love, fighting against love, fighting because of love. Fighting against love. Ten of Swords in reverse. High honor. Official person imprisonment Wheel of Fortune Thoughts in reverse What do you mean thoughts in reverse? A message. Somebody doesn't know what to think about a message. Someone's not thinking about a message. Give me one more for the Wheel of Fortune, please. The lovers. Or someone wasn't thinking about how something would affect their fate. Someone wasn't thinking about how something was going to affect their destiny. Somebody wasn't thinking about what this would do to their karma. Someone wasn't thinking about karma or how this would play out in the long run. Saying something about lovers. Then someone was trying to get out of some sort of a painful ending here because of high honor, because of the authorities. They started fighting against love 
And I honestly, I don't even feel like this is love, like with a person. I feel like this is self-love. I feel like this is a oneness. Like this is like the universal vibration of love. It's like um, this person started fighting against operating out of that frequency of love. And that doesn't mean you love everyone, you love everything, but it's um, it's acting out of love, okay? It's, and my thing just went, okay. It's acting out of like a higher vibration. This person like fought against raising their vibration, okay? And um, also fought against self-love. Because if you are lying to authorities and you are um, getting yourself into like this toxic mess, I mean, you're like um, basically self-sabotaging your life, right? If you're destroying your own life in the process of trying to destroy someone else, that's not self-love. Self-love, when you love yourself, is when you make the healthiest choices in life that you can, right? Um, because you, it's about raising that vibration. And having like oneness and, and love for all, for all beings, like for all sentient beings, okay? It's about having that empathy and that compassion for everyone, everything around us. And it's like respect, the mutual respect, okay? Is this is honestly giving me that someone fought against raising their own vibration. They even fought against finding that self-love, self-acceptance. And it's that has something to do with taking accountability, right? Because um, taking accountability means accepting your own shortcomings, right? It's accepting that, you know what? I am operating out of a toxic vibration. I am operating out of um, envy or greed or resentment, right? I mean, you can, it's only natural that people can slip into that, right? But it's about catching yourself when you're doing it and realizing, you know what, I'm operating out of a lower vibration right now and I need to find a way to raise my vibration and go more in towards that loving, that the higher vibrations, right? Moving, it doesn't have to be the highest vibration of love, but at least moving out of the anger and out of those really dark, um, lower vibrations. And it has a lot to do with letting go of grudges, like holding on to resentment and grudges and things that hurt you in the past and not letting go and refusing to let go. That lowers your vibration. It doesn't let you move on. It doesn't let you release. You have to release old feelings, old uh, hurt and pain, okay? And go into more of like accepting the past and accepting what happened so that you can move into a higher vibration in the future. So what's the seven of cups reverse? There's an illusion being lifted here about somebody receiving something or giving something or that somebody gave something to someone, gave money to someone or gave something to someone, okay? Ten of Wands, a burden, a burden, giving someone a burden, okay? There's an illusion being lifted about this. Talking about the Hermit. Having to do with some sort of player, flighty, one night stand energy, okay? Bad memories of the past because someone didn't want to grow up. Someone didn't want to grow up. Or someone here could even have um, like childhood issues, childhood trauma, okay? Someone could have had a bad childhood. Someone here could be going within about this, okay? Going within about how childish they even acted, how childish this was, how immature something was, how they acted, okay? What's the Ace of Cups? A Queen of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Because of something that they were invested in here for a long time regarding a Queen of Cups with an Ace of Cups? With a, what's the Ace of Cups? An Occupation. 
because they received some sort of an a, they received some sort of a gift or an offer from someone to work for them like what some sort of money why is the queen of cups here a false person so someone here received money or an offering from a queen of cups um as an occupation to work with them so this could have been like not even just a money bribe i'm not even getting a money bribe off this one because it's coming out as a love gift if this is has anything to do with um this could even have been something like a child okay like if it's with virgo reading it came out that this might be someone you have a child with okay or children with a queen of cups might have come to this person and said look if you work together with me i will give you the gift of the child so they basically they like sold a child or tried to handle a child okay this queen of cups is a false person to say the least now this was the devil's temptation this was literally a deal with the devil And someone here fell for the deal. They made a deal with the devil. What's um, the Six of Pentacles? It has something to do with giving someone something because romance is blooming and someone is heartbroken and sad about a separation or a breakup fun flirting want a date and this was a risk that they took they took this risk they were being strategic with this um because but somebody was not talking to someone there was no communication with someone here okay there was no text no calls emails this was a risk that they took okay Tell me about the Four of Wands. Justice. The Six of Swords. So, I don't know, the Four of Wands and Justice, if this is a house of justice, okay, if this is an office building, a, a, a building or something like that, or it's just something that they tried to get away with, right? Uh, in the legal system, in the justice system, someone tried to get away with something here that might have happened in a house. Why is the Four of Wands here? A main male. So this King of Cups. Something that this main male said about what happened in a home, okay? Why is this person now heartbroken here and depressed? Because of the Four of Swords because that's something to do with resting they lied because they lied about um sleeping with someone they lied about sleeping in a bed with someone they lied about sleeping in a bed with someone laying down yeah having a one night stand with someone ace of wands this king of cups lied about having a one night stand with someone The lovers. Why are they sad now? Five of Cups. Because the truth is out. They're sad and depressed because the truth is out. They could be even feeling shame. They could be feeling embarrassed. Okay? Because of the truth. And this has something to do with action that was taken or communication. Okay? They're feeling trapped right now. They're feeling stuck. What is this with the Eight of Cups? They're trying to walk away now. Yeah, from something they told the authorities. They went to the authorities and created an illusion, the magician, about some sort of toxicity, about the devil, about an attachment. Because they were working together with others and they were collaborating with a group here to create this illusion but why is it out here with them wanting to walk away now? 
because they don't want to be trapped. They don't want to be stuck to this. They don't want to be bound to this. They don't want to be trapped. Chariot. Strong Cancer, okay? Five of Swords. They wanted to win at all costs. And so they did this by claiming that you are a main female in reverse. So then they lied about you and tried to slander you um, to get out of the fact that they had lied from the very beginning, okay? And they're in despair about this now. What's a page of wands, a message? Concerned, they're very concerned about a message. Very concerned about a message. Why are they so concerned about this message? Because balance is being brought into this situation. And they try to hold on to control here by doing something in the dark or they held back some sort of information maybe even. Um, they could have been working together with a Virgo. They don't wanna let go of some sort of security. They're trying to hold out of control. Uh, they did something hidden in the dark. This could even have something to do with like, um, you know, watching someone, spying on someone in secret. Or keeping something hidden, Knight of Pentacles. This could even be about some sort of result. Something that they kept kept to themselves and kept hidden about some sort of results, maybe even. Okay, this could even have something to do with a doctor with the tower. I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's what I'm getting. They held back information here. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. The devil. This person has something on them. They have some sort of an attachment. I don't know what it is, okay? It could be some sort of a, I don't know why I'm getting a doctor, okay? This person was planning something pretty evil. Why is the Ten of Swords here? It has something to do with someone's job or someone's financial stability or um, you being just, maybe even just being independent, you being successful in your life, you um, having everything that you need, okay? This person might have just wanted to hurt you, honestly. They just wanted to stab you in the back and hurt you, okay? Because they're living out of their toxic devil energy. Look up the sins. Count how many this person is living out of, okay? So now they're getting bad, they're getting, they're concerned about some sort of bad news or concerned about some sort of news Hang man, because there's a moment of enlightenment here. A king of wands in reverse. Because someone is angry here. Someone is very angry and controlling, okay? And abusive. Someone is very hot-headed. Knight of wands. This is about some sort of action that was supposed to be taken here. They're very stressed out and worried about this now. So someone here could be concerned about a message that they're receiving because they're, they're realizing the truth is out. Someone could be wondering if they should cut themselves loose from something because they're very stressed out and worried. Heavy on the cancer energy today, Chariot, with the King of Cups coming out over and over and over again. This person feels trapped. They're scared of going to jail because the cycle is closing in on them. Yes, they are. And they know it too. The cycle is over, it's ending, and it's closing in on them because the truth is out. 
they're stressed out they're very worried why is that why are they so stressed out and worried about a king of wands in reverse this king of wands in reverse could be very angry right now the emperor very angry with a king of cups is the is the king of wands in reverse um trying to tell this king of cups to do something Hierophant and the Three of Wands in Reverse. This King, this uh, King of Wands in Reverse does not want the King of Cups to go to the authorities. Okay, they're trying to tell them not to do this. Do not go to the authorities. They're very angry. Saying something about some sort of money. Okay. Yeah, they don't want them to do this. Two of Swords. They're trying to block this person from being able to go and speak the truth. Nine of Wands, yet they don't want them to go to the authorities. The Star. Because of the lies in the past. So is the group fighting right now? I feel like the group is fighting. There's some sort of like, um, honestly, with the King of Wands in reverse, I almost want to say that... That the King of Cups, because this came out in Virgo as well, this King of Cups is thinking about if they should stand up and do the right thing, right? And come clean. That's what I feel, honestly. Um, because they're already way too fucking deep into the mess. But the King of Wands in Reverse doesn't want this person to go to the authorities because they don't want them to come clean and speak the truth. They don't want this person to say the truth about the Queen of Cups and her offer and how all of this transpired. Is that what's going on here right now? The Two of Wands. Someone is thinking about if they should make a move or if they should make a choice. Because they feel like they cannot walk away from something. They feel like they can't get out of something. And they know they're under judgment. I feel like this King of Cups knows exactly what's coming. They know they can't get out of it. There's no running away from it. They can't get away from it. And they're thinking about if they should answer the call to do the right thing. Now, why is this angering the King of Wands here? Because the King of Wands, it has something to do with giving something to someone. Giving someone something or receiving something here. Holding something back, holding on to control, holding on to security. The star. Why does the star keep coming out and the devil? Because this person, this King of Cups, <sighs> is that what's going on here? The world and the King of Swords. <sighs> this person has way more power than they think they have. Okay? They have way more power than they think they have. That's why this keeps coming out. And I feel like the King of Swords is about them saying the truth and speaking up and saying the truth because they have a lot of information that's very valuable. Maybe even to the police. King of Swords could even be the police to people in law. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Moving on to peaceful waters, moving on to calmer waters. And this has to do with some sort of a investment or someone's career. Why does this keep coming out so prevalently that it's like giving me like the feeling that the universe is trying to guide this person to, to come clean and do the right thing? Why does that keep coming out like that? What the hell? I just look at that. The sun comes out. It's the right thing to do. I don't know. The sun. This is the way. This is the way forward here because of the lies that were told. Okay. Oh, you know what? I just got it. Just hit me. This is about um, forgiveness. Confirmation. Did you hear that? That's what this is about. If this King of Cups has been asking God for forgiveness, this is the way. And I just got a sensation on my arm. It felt like someone was grabbing my arm. So 
it could be that this King of Cups has been asking God for forgiveness or has been asking to repent or like to be released of their sin or something like that or to be shown the way. This is the way. If you want forgiveness, it starts with doing the right thing and taking accountability. Ten of Pentacles. Oh my, I cannot, I cannot. That's the truth. This is the way, King of Cups. If you want forgiveness, and if, you, if you've been asking God to forgive you, this is the only way. You gotta speak up and you gotta say the truth. And you gotta do the right thing. That's the only way. All right. That's why this keeps coming out like this. This person feels extremely burdened right now. They feel like they have a, a lot of burden on their back. They feel very burdened because they lied about a one night stand. About an empress and they did it for the king of wands. This king of wands does not want this king of cups to confess. This King of Wands does not want this King of Cups to confess. But King of Cups, Mr. King of Cups, if I can tell you one thing, this person is the big fish, not you. This person is the big fish. Okay, that's why I'm saying you have way more power than you think you do. Okay? I'm just saying. What do we know what do we need to know about the King of Cups, uh, the King of Wands here? The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. Look, at, he comes out again at the bottom. This King of Wands has something to do with a, a Queen of Pentacles and trying to get away from something that they know they cannot get away from. having to do with money, and it's bringing in a tower. It's bringing in a tower right now. This person wants to, this king of wands might want to defend this, okay, or stop this from happening. I'll tell me more about this king of wands here. They know they're about to be in poverty. They know they're about to lose everything, even including spiritual protection. They don't even have spiritual protection anymore, but they know that they're spiritually left out in the cold. This has to do with a relationship and what someone is planning here. Or what someone had planned with a hermit. With a hermit, what, with this Queen of Pentacles Virgo? Or with a with a detective here, Six of Wands, how they thought that they would have victory and success here. Why is the Queen of Pentacles showing up all of a sudden? Because of the King of Wands. So the Queen of Pentacles is still working together with the King of Wands. The Empress. Saying somebody gave something to the Empress here. The this has something to do with a, the a cancer, the chariot, giving something to someone, giving something to an empress, giving something to someone, giving something to an empress, or a mother figure giving something to someone, a chariot, a cancer, a chariot. I know it has to do with a one night stand. It has to do with information about a one night stand. But why is the queen of pentacles coming out with that? Because it because of this is a friends group that took action and they feel stuck and now they feel trapped and stuck. So are you saying it's the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups that are both thinking about confessing now? The Nine of Swords. Are they both thinking about confessing? Something about someone they're trying to balance something out in the past from the past or something about some sort of cheating in the past 
about somebody sleep about somebody sleeping with someone in the past. But why is the queen why is the queen of pentacles now popping out out of nowhere? Cuz she also feels like she can't get away with something, but she wants to get away with something, but she's coming out with the king of wands, which is almost making me feel like if I'm being honest, it's making me feel like the king of cups wants to confess and the queen of pentacles and the king of wands are like, no, okay? Like two people coming up against one right now. Knight of cups reverse. And the empress. Somebody got some big money. Some sort of money from an em who is this empress? A gift. Because of a gift from a mother figure? A gift from a mother and some sort of money? Of rejecting an offer. Are they are they trying to bribe him again? With a knight of wands, with the with the one-eyed stand, we're taking some sort of action to the authorities, or to stop him. The king of cups and the five of wands. They're trying to stop. I feel like they're trying to stop this person from going to the authorities. I feel like they're trying to stop this king of wands from going to the authorities. So, are they? Is someone here trying to offer this king of cups? Like another bribe to stop them from going to the authorities? Yeah, the king of wands in reverse. This person is angry. The king of wands in reverse is so angry right now. They're angry. Which side are you going to choose, king of cups? The devil or the angels? That's honestly what this is right here. You got a devil sitting on your shoulder and you got an angel sitting on your shoulder. Which voice are you going to listen to? I honestly feel like this king of wands in reverse is coming towards this king of cups. The king of cups might want to go to the authorities. They're fighting with him. They're trying to stop this person from doing the right thing. Look, this is your choice, king of cups. And like I got in the Virgo reading, it's your last chance. It's your last chance. Knight of cups in reverse. The, the heavenly realm, your ancestors that are watching over you, your spirit guides, okay? Those on the other side are telling you to reject this. And they're saying, this is your last chance. You have a free will choice right now. What are you going to do? Devil or angel? Okay? So they're trying to get him to shut up. Queen of Wands comes out in reverse again. These people are very angry with him. They're very angry with this King of Cups. There's a lot of anger here and because of the relationship and the tower. Because this King of Cups has, a, has the power to bring the entire operation down. They're a huge link in this. And they know it. Or maybe they don't know it. I don't know if they know how significant this is. Okay? It's... The emperor. You need to take control over your own life. North node in Aries. North node in Aries. Is that is very important for someone here. Okay? The emperor. Take control here over your own life. Six of Cups. This is about the past. And listen to your intuition. There's something big on the line right here for someone right now, okay? There's something huge on the line here for someone right now. And it's only, and I feel like no matter what, what is happening around here, this King of Cups needs to realize that the only thing that they are deciding over right now is their own fate. Okay? Take the devil's temptation. That's your fate. Do the right thing and follow your angelic guidance. You'll get rewarded for that. And you have to have faith in that. Okay? You need to listen to your intuition. Do not take the bribe. 
they're gonna put you in poverty. If you listen to this group, you're gonna go down with them and you're gonna be in poverty and in lack and you will be spiritually abandoned. Just like them. Are you gonna sell your soul to the devil? One last time, okay? That, I cannot even make it up. I cannot make it up. I cannot make it up. This is a very specific message here. That's the truth, King of Cups. Okay? They're going down. These people are going down. They have no more spiritual, spiritual protection because their souls are gone. There seems to be a reason why you are getting one last chance at grace here. You're getting one last chance at mercy. What's the choice? They're thinking about going to the authorities to confess. These, this people, these people don't want them to do it here. They could be offering this person a lot of money. What are you gonna do here? Judgment, okay? Answer the call. This decision decides your judgment, King of Cups. What you do next decides your judgment, okay? I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm really just gonna leave it at that, okay? What would be the advice? I mean, I don't even really need advice, but what, what would be the advice here? What would be the advice here for this? situation here for Taurus. Knight of Pentacles. Think about your future. Don't think about right now. Think about with the Knight of Pentacles. Think about your future. Think about your future. Not just right now. I swear this is for a cancer. Okay? Think about your future and how you're going to move forward. Okay? I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Okay? Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.